All right, so this is a video that I've been <clears throat> wanting to make for quite some time. Uh, and it's uh, really just an overview of the new Roman Missal by Father Lassance. Um, I think, you know, something for me that, uh, you know, really compelled me to make this uh, video is, is learning about Father Lassance himself um, and enjoying the works that he has created. So just a little bit of background on Father Losans. He was born in Cincinnati, Ohio on January 24th, 1860 on the Feast of St. Timothy. Uh, he was ordained at the ripe old age of 23 on May 24th, 1883, the Feast of Our Lady Help of Christians, where he um, then did parish work for the diocese for seven years. So at age 30, um, ill health forced him to give up parish work, uh, which I mean, I can't imagine was anything less than devastating. Um, so he, he took a, a, a quick kind of like retreat or, you know, a little trip to Rome and France to uh, do a little bit of traveling and, and build up his strength and, and rest a little bit. Upon returning within the, that year of 1890, uh, at age 30, Father Lassance, he served as the chaplain for the Notre Dame convent, the summit uh, in Cincinnati, where really he led the life of a recluse and, and semi-invalid, uh, basically a, you know, a convalescent home uh, for uh, quite a long time. Um, Father Lassance, he, he suffered really a, a great deal, from what I understand, uh, to be very severe and debilitating head pain. Um, the cause of the pain is, is really chalked up to just poor heredity and, uh, and some unfavorable environmental factors that, that you know, uh, worked his detriment. Uh, and he en endured those, those environmental factors as well for, you know, a number of years before, you know, he entered the priesthood. So Father Lassance, he eventually passed on to his eternal reward on the feast of Pope, Pope St. Damasus on December 11th, 1946. From complications of some sort of chronic heart condition, uh, it was really difficult to uh, read the death certificate. Uh, it was very kind of like uh, unclear. Um, but it's interesting to note that I mean, with all those years of ill health and everything, he, he actually was the oldest living priest in the archdiocese at the time, which was 86 years old. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really noteworthy to point out that um, he spent 56 years in convalescence, uh, in pain, and, you know, putting together works like the one that you have before you. And, you know, one thing that just stands out from like his prayer book and, and everything else is that his books really reflect joy, you know, gratitude, thankfulness, optimism, uh, you know, and, and, and a, a real desire for holiness. Um, and, and, and really the, the works that he left us are just unbelievably valuable. So I think, you know, that's one thing to take into consideration when you see just how densely packed this missile is, it is unbelievable what is available in here. So uh, I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm just gonna go through it as quickly as possible because it, you know, to dwell on it is, you know, um, may, may do it a disservice. But uh, to be honest, if, if I was ever to be stranded on a desert island, um, I would, this is the book, the one book that I would have with me. Uh, not only does it contain the Holy Sacrifice, the Mass, and all of the feast days to support you for a liturgical year, but, um, but uh, it, it, it contains so much more. I mean, obviously the scripture readings that are part of Mass, um, but uh, it, it's just, it's just unbelievable. So let's, let's just jump right in here. Uh, so there's the typical approbations. Um, again, you know, really nice pictures throughout. I mean, you know, you, you don't have to do this, but, you know, he did. So there is a very good and thoughtful introduction 
uh, inside of uh, the when you first open it up, talking about the the mass itself. Um, talks about the four ends of the mass. Uh, it goes on to then discuss you know the importance and desirability of daily mass. Uh, and then it talks about the relationship between prayer, you know, like the morning offering and the Holy Mass and the sacrifice. Um, and then a word about the devotion on which we should be going to Mass. Then it goes and actually talks about the Mass itself, you know, mystically speaking, uh, rich quotes from the saints, and, and really just, you know, a, a lot of you know, good information, ultimately with a, a beckoning of come, to the mass come to mass um, then it gives you instructions on how to read with the priest how to read the mass with the priest with really good instructions here about you know marking the parts of the missile and you know really a study plan exercises to practice um, you know where to put your ribbons uh, again ribbons don't always match up in my opinion but it gives you some rich information too about the liturgical year and the classifications of the feasts. Um, and even more so, um, you know, uh, votive masses, things of that nature, but, but related to the feast, it also breaks it down in the appendix here about the difference between the second order and third order, um, the octaves and, and how they rank. Uh, good piece of advice. Then it gives you, I mean, look at this, just, just brilliant. It lays out a typical altar. It breaks down all the pieces so you, you can be familiar with what's going on and what, what everything is called. Um, I mean, that would be enough, but then it goes into deeper detail about the altar, the different, uh, you know, the different uh, uh, items that are used at the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass vestments gives you pictures of the vestments the representation of the vestments i mean like where do you even get this right and i mean we're not even not even 100 pages into the book um a table about the rubrics then discussion about the rubrics the ceremonies of the mass being explained i mean you know you could buy a book just focused on this. But Father Lassance gives it to you, so you have it. I mean, this is just great. And then, of course, we move into the proper of the seasons, right? Um, one thing I, I want to stop and, and kind of call out in terms of the pictures that's great is that, that the pictures are really nice, but, you know, one time I was, I was sitting there and praying the Mass, and I was like, why deer? <laughs> <laughs> like that just seems kind of odd to me like why you know what 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 is this and you know sure enough back in here there's this thing about symbolic representations so he goes through and describes all of the pictures that are actually in the missile and he gives you explanations so on page 777 the headpiece is the savior's fountain it talks about how you know the deer are representative of the faithful uh, drinking from you know the um, streams which flow from the foot of the cross i mean just great it's scripture references as well uh, and, and it does it for every single picture in this book in this missile phenomenal a plus as we move through the masses you obviously have the masses for all the different saints for during the year you have you have these these masses for special occasions, the dedication of a church, um, you know, votive masses for the Blessed Virgin Mary, the apostles, you know, uh, the Holy Trinity, Peter and Paul, Saints Peter and Paul. Uh, I mean, just any kind of votive mass, masses for any need. You have the nuptial mass along with the marriage service prior to it. Um, I typically read this. Uh, you know, at, at on the, an, my wedding anniversary every year to remind me of of uh, my my solemn vows. You know, again, ma you know, mass for peace. There's mass for for good weather, mass for rain. I mean, like just everything. 
Then it has the, the burial services and commemoration of the dead masses. And uh, it has the 40 hours adoration. Um, masses for religious orders that are particular for religious orders. And then, you know, masses that are proper for, uh, you, you know, regions. So like the United States, uh, you know, good favorite of mine, St. Rita of Kasha, incorruptible, by the way, um, and grants great favors. <clears throat> so, I mean, proper masses for the United States. So not only that, you get an explanation of all of the Sundays and and big feast days of the year so it's like the yearly liturgical cycle you get you know at you know uh, explanation of the um season so advent christmas right and then it breaks it down you know what's the friday and ember week christmas eve you know the fourth sunday in lent monday after passion sunday right i mean everything it's crazy how much stuff is in here then, if that's not enough, you get a short account of the lives of the saints who are celebrated throughout the year. So, I mean, again, you know, it, it's not thorough, but it's definitely enough to, to gain appreciation and, and whet your appetite to, to look into these saints. And again, and if I was stuck on a desert island, I would have, um, you know, uh, something, something to, to read and study and, and uh, think about. St. Robert Bellarmine. Very good one, uh, my patron saint actually. So, all that stuff. Okay, the description of the symbolic references I talked about. There's a glossary of liturgical terms. So, if you hear, you know, uh, arch basilica, what what is that, right? I mean, all kinds of stuff. Then you get a calendar. So if you just need to refer to the calendar, you want to put like a, a holy card here and see like, you know, kind of what, what the feast days looks like to plan out. Just, just great stuff. And then on top of it, there's like a mini prayer book back here. Not just for prayers for the mass, but morning prayers, evening prayers, just general devotions. Prayers, you know, to prepare yourself for mass and Thanksgiving after mass. My son's. My first son's first Holy Communion Remembrance card, right? Prayer before crucifix, indulgence prayers. You have special prayers like the act of consecra consecration that should be done to the Sacred Heart of Jesus on the feast of Christ the King. Just brilliant. Then, hey, maybe you want to stick around for benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. Well, hey, you have that here too, right? I mean, like literally everything you need. Table of Movable Feasts, which has unfortunately expired. And then uh, then you get like the laws of uh, abstinence and fasting, the Holy Days of Obligations in the United States. Um, and then finally you get a, 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 con a general contents here <laughs> to tell you about all the cool things. And then you get like an index as well. So if you want to find out like, hey, you know, I mean, it gives you all the different ways that you can get to you know, the different feasts and, and the different content. It also has the appendix with uh, the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which uh, is a feast that uh, came along a little bit later. And it gives you a few pages for some notes. All in one missile. I'm almost out of breath. Honestly, Father Lassance, uh we truly thank you for for leaving this behind. I mean, what a tremendous work this must have been. And the fact that he made it easy for you to reference the mass, like you don't have to flip around to, you know, 800 different places to find the, the readings or whatever. I mean, he really did a good job of making sure that, you know, he, he minimized the, the, the work that you have to do to, to attain the mass. So again, I mean, this is a little bit of a tribute to Father Lassans, uh, and, and and a little bit of a tribute to, to what an invaluable missile this is, uh, and and really something that we should we should all enjoy um, as part of our Catholic devotional life, and something that you can use not just at the Holy Sacrifice, the Mass, but really every day of your life. Hope you enjoy it. God bless you.